Well, the New York Public Library, Brooklyn Public Library, and Queens Public Library have all been closed for more than a year now, but they are opening back up. This is big. As of today, New Yorkers can go inside dozens of libraries, libraries again and pick out their own reads and also use those computers. News 12's Emily Lorsch tells us more. While the city's three public library systems have been closed since March of last year, that hasn't stopped seven-year-old May and four-year-old Henry from continuing to keep their eyes busy. Have we been doing a lot of reading? <laughs> yes. But for the first time since these libraries closed, they're allowing New Yorkers to come back inside, not just to pick up books they put on hold, but to browse too. We were able to find some books that we didn't even know that we wanted, so it's really nice to be able to like walk around with them again and pick out books that you didn't plan to pick out. For May, Henry and their dad, that means they're walking out of the library with their hands full. It's always more fun uh, when you can touch the books. We got more than we expected today. New Yorkers can now also use the computers. There is a digital divide in Brooklyn and all throughout the city and some people really rely on our computers to do homework, to do gig work, to send a resume, to sign up for a vaccine. So that's a really important service as well. Meanwhile, the virtual and outdoor libraries that have been around during the pandemic aren't going anywhere. So this means we can all spread out. Some people can be inside, some people can be outside. Just even more opportunities for New Yorkers to explore and find some good new reads. I'm very excited to read this one because it's a new book. There's nothing like discovering a good book on the shelf. That's just such a joy. There are about a dozen libraries in both the Bronx and Brooklyn that currently have expanded services, and all branches are expected to have these services by mid-July. In Clinton Hill, Emily Lorsch, News 12.